Hi everyone, Libby here. Back today with an empties and bin items video, if that makes sense. So, mainly empties, but a few products I don't really care for and aren't going to use. So, I'm going to waste my time using them. So, I've got quite a bit to get through. My little bag got to the overflowing stage. I think it has been some time since I did one, but a lot of little samples. So, anyway, let's get on with it. We're starting with skincare and cleansing stuff. These are the facial wipes from Whatnot. Absolutely love these. Brilliant. Best um, facial wipes that I have tried. And I order these online from notoxbox.com.au. And so it's a packet of, I'm not sure how many's in the packet. I think it's about 25. I know when I took these away for a three-week trip, I had enough. And um, they'll do general eye makeup. I don't think I've tried them with like a waterproof mascara. But um, it says you can use them on your eyelids and everywhere. But yeah, they're really nice and they're quite moisturising so you don't feel really dried out when you've used them. So you yeah, highly, highly recommend these. I also tried a couple of other cleansers or three other cleansers this year. This used up another three cleansers that I've been trialling, trying to find the right cleanser. Still haven't found it yet, so I'm still on the search for my absolute favourite. But I did use this one. This is People for Plants. Australian Organics. I used it up. It was okay. I think I found this one to be a little bit drying, like I left my skin a bit drier than what I would like from a cleanser. So this is one I used in the morning in the shower, but it was an okay product and I think probably fairly good value for money, but I won't be rebuying it. Uh, I also tried this little Sukin foaming, foaming cleanser. They call it foaming facial cleanser. It was a sample of, again, okay, not brilliant, um, won't be rebuying. As if that was a sample, but I used it up. And then at night time I was using this Trilogy um, Cream Cleanser, which was quite nice. I'm annoyed though, I'm down that far from the bottom, it won't work through the pump, and I thought, okay, I'll just transfer it to another dish, but it's quite a thick cream. That I guess you could do it, but it'd take a lot of work <laughs> to get it out of the jar. Um, and why it was okay, I wasn't madly in love with the product, so um, it, it was okay. It was a reasonable cleanser, did the job. I just um, I don't know what it was about it. The smell it doesn't have a fantastic smell. So yeah, I think the smell lets that one down. Okay, so I've got a few um, and not a few. Moisturizers as well. This is my favorite, current favorite, the Dr. Lewens one in the day cream. And I'm going to repurchase that when I use up my other ones. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep a little tub because I always forget which one I, which one I like. So really like the Dr. Lewens one. I'm using the night cream at the moment and love it. So I was quite sad when I finished that day cream off. It doesn't have a sun cream in it though, but I believe they do have some with sunscreens, but I haven't sampled them yet. And they're quite on the pricey side, so I don't want to buy one until I can sample one with a sunscreen. Otherwise, my foundation has a sunscreen, so I'm kind of covered anyway. I also, for the day, moisturizers. Yeah, that was the day one. And then I've got a couple of night creams or night moisturizers that I used up. This was the Natio one. I have finished the container. It, it was quite nice. I think it was actually quite a nice moisturizer. I just want something a little bit richer for at night. But otherwise, um, again, particularly maybe in your 20s or early 30s even, that would probably just do the job and be really, it's fine. Um, it was nice, got a nice smell to it. Yeah, it's got a really nice smell. Uh, I just feel like I want something a little bit richer for in the evenings. Whether I need it or not, I don't know, but I just felt it just didn't seem quite um, rich enough for me. <laughs> I also used up this um, Trilogy moisturizer. That was a sample. I'm currently working on a bigger one because I did get a set of the bigger Trilogy products, but I'm finding I like the Dr. Lewens better than the Trilogy, so kind of shifting over with those. But this is quite nice, as I said, I'm using it at the minute, and it's um, not a bad product, it's just not one that I. Yeah, the smells. I actually really like the texture of this one. That's why I went and bought the bigger one. But the smells, I think, let these down. 
another trilogy product while we're here and this was the rose hip oil and antioxidant and i do love this one <laughs> i've actually got another bottle that i haven't started using now because i'm using up another um rose hip oil that i have but i've already gone and repurchased it because i really did like this one and i think it has been voted very highly in some you know whatever they do consumer testing or consumer things so you really do this is my favorite um, rose hip oil i think it's, i mean they all do a reasonable job but i like this one the best. I think it just does a better, slightly better job. An eye cream. This is a roll-on eye serum from Natio. Um, I like this because it's got the roller ball. It's not a very rich eye cream and I'm actually using another one at the moment which is a bit richer. But I think I'm actually going to repurchase one of these. I wasn't that impressed with it at first but while I've been sick I've actually sort of had quite um, heavy under my eyes, puffiness and stuff. And I probably should go and buy it now before I don't need it anymore. But I found that when I was using this, it was actually really nice on my eyes when they were sort of puffy. So, and it says that, so it helps smooth and refine, targets puffiness and dark circles. So I think I will, will actually repurchase one of these and keep it for a daytime one and then use my other richer one for in the evening. But when I bought it, I was using it for both and I didn't feel it was, again, it did a, a good enough job for in the evening. It just wasn't quite as rich as what I was used to in an eye cream. But... Having said that, <laughs> I'm going to go and rebuy that. Okay, I have um, the Natural Tinted Moisturiser from Nude by Nature. I have already repurchased that and then we're using that on the days when I don't um, want to put on my foundation. I'll just sometimes use that because it's got the sunscreen in it and just gives a little bit of colour but not, you know, if you're just going to be at home but you want something. <laughs> And then that's good. So I do find I use this as well. So I've got a few different things I use in the morning. I might use normal moisturiser just by itself with a sunscreen. Or this one, the tinted moisturiser with a sunscreen. Or a normal moisturiser without a sunscreen. And a foundation with a sunscreen. So just depending on what the occasion calls for. And I put it in here, even though it's not one of my empties. This is Amy's. She has used up this Illamasqua primer. So I thought I might throw it in here. She really likes it and she likes the foundation too and we, she, we replaced the foundation as well. Was this my primer? I've had one of these primers too, but I think this was hers. <laughs> um, but she needed new and um, we bought the Natio primers to use and they seem to do a good job. I can't honestly tell the difference, though I'm sure this is probably better quality, but price-wise, I think... Um, the same we've changed over to the Natio foundation to the same thing products are pretty seem to do a similar job but they're a lot cheaper and i can buy it locally rather than have to order online or go up to sydney to get the illamasqua but okay i do like the illamasqua company and their product so if i had the money i'd probably buy the illamasqua but a bit of budget so the Natio is a good option <laughs> what else have we got oh just while i finish off the face sort of stuff i will do my eos lip balm I sort of had to retire this one at the end. <laughs> I'm working on my other one, my last one now. And I'm hoping my friend Leanne can pick me up a few in America because otherwise I don't have any more. I'd feel like to have a few around, but I absolutely love these and we can't get them in Australia. I don't have any makeup here besides a mascara that I retired. And that's the Natio Definition Mascara, which is my favourite Natio mascara that I've tried. And it's probably my favourite mascara at the minute. Um, I have repurchased it. So it's got that sort of a slightly angled uh, wand, the little bristles. So yeah, if you're looking for a reasonable Australian mascara to try, yeah, just make sure you get the definition mascara because they have quite a few. I think it's probably the most expensive one. Of course. Okay, so on to um, some body products. I've used up, very sadly, my Tarico Orange Crabtree and Evelyn Body Wash. They call it a body wash or they call it a shower, bath and shower gel. Just love this. But the only problem when I use this, I instantly get, instantly get transported back to Germany. Because it was actually on a Germany trip this time last year that I used a travel set of this. And so I just, oh, I must make anything in Germany. But I love this and will definitely be rebuying it. Again, I'm working on a few other products at the moment, but... 
I just love this. I think this is probably like my all time overall general favourite. If I had to vote for one, only ever using one body wash ever again, this would be it. Absolutely love it. And I also finished off um, this little coconut breeze, one that we got in the States a year and a half ago now, but I had retired over the summer. And I'm actually sort of halfway through a full size one at the moment, but I finished the little tiny one off. I think I took it on holidays to and finish that off there. So I certainly love that coconut lime breeze from Bath and Body Works. Really, really nice. Probably, again, my favourite scent from Bath and Body Works. And I also finished off the matching um, matching body lotion. So I love these. The smells of these are just oh heaven. And these take me back to Disney World. <laughs> Because that's where I was first using it. I just think it's so amazing how scents can do that. They can just, if it, especially if you exclusively use something on holidays or away somewhere, or like I use poison perfume just when I go out, but it instantly takes me back to being a teenager because I wore it a lot then, went out a lot as a teenager, and that's where I wore it for the first time. And I just, I think scents are amazing like that. So, yeah. Love that. We finished off this. Um, Another Bath and Body Works product, the Foamy Hand Soap, Ocean Pearl. Finish of that, that was really nice. A bit sad to finish that one actually. Well, the one I'm using now is pretty nice as well, but. Mm, we need like smell o vision, don't we, really? <laughs> Wouldn't that be, won't that be amazing? I'm sure one day they'll have it. <laughs> and that'll be amazing. So yeah, that was really nice. Again, I don't know if it's still available or not. This was picked up, I think Kevin got this for me last year, so last summer's probably now they change all their scents all the time okay uh, kiss my face foot cream which I buy from I heard really love this and I've already got another um, bottle I'm working on probably one of the best foot creams that I found it doesn't have a particularly amazing smell but it seems to do a really good job earlier in the summer I was getting a really cracked um, foot from probably from wearing Crocs and being a bit, feet being a bit sweaty and this just a day, two days, and cracks were gone. So, did a really, really good job. So, yep, highly recommend that foot cream. Finished off an Australis nail polish remover. This is just the one I tend to buy. Does a good job. Very good price. You often pick it up on sale for from BW or Priceline. So, and it's cruelty free. So, they aren't all cruelty free. Um, just two hair things. I finished off this Batiste dry shampoo. What was this? Sassy, Daring and Wild. Actually, I don't know. If I finished it off or one of the girls finished it off. I can't remember now because I don't use it very often. Actually, I think Christy finished it off. Now I think of it. Yeah. Christy finished off that one and I have bought her another one. I think I've got a different scent this time. Um, she struggles a bit with oily hair. Even, I don't know if she doesn't wash her hair enough or just gets oily quite quickly. So just the days when she needs to touch up, she finds that's a good, I introduced her to this as a good option to do. And I finished off this um, Di Lorenzo Natural Scalp Therapy Scalp Control Toner. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> you can just read it for yourself. Um, I suffer with some psoriasis. Not really bad, but sort of mild psoriasis, I guess, on my head. And I find that I use the matching shampoo and conditioner. And if my psoriasis flows up a bit, which it had done sort of over the summer, I was using this on the days when I didn't shampoo my hair. I think I might even start using it on the days I was shampooing my hair at one stage. Jeez, the light's gone really bad in here, hasn't it? So we just jumped into the bin. The big cloud going over the sun. What fell in? Okay, so hopefully the lighting's okay. The sun might come back out in a minute and blind us. I think it's looking cloudy though. So yeah, if you have scalp conditions, <laughs> you might want to check that out. I um okay. Well, I finished off. I had one of these slick hydro razors and the razor blades, um, but I've decided I prefer my Venus razor blade. It's twelve o'clock. Prefer my Venus uh, razor, so I'm going back to that, and I'm going to throw that one in the bin. It had been recommended, um, I'd seen it recommended a few times, but I thought, oh, give it a go, try it, but I didn't feel it did any better job, and I think I just prefer the Venus one. And I don't know why, but I also included one of these disposable Venus razors. <laughs> I guess it's going in the bin. 
I got finished off. Probably Nelson's bag, I would assume, because I don't tend to use the disposable ones. Unless I'm on holidays. But I wonder why I brought it home. I don't know. Okay, I've got a few candles and then some products that are just going, probably donating to the kids or going in the bin. So I've got a couple of party like uh, glass jarred candles that I finished off. And this was Ponsidia and Musk. It's a red one. Mmm. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> so I finished off that. So now I'll wash out the jar and I can keep the jar to use um, for storage or for put a votive candle in or something. So I find that I'm a crafter. Well, I used to be a crafter, so they're often handy for things. I also finished off this one it was from the Halloween set. Hocus. They're just a general candle called Hocus Pocus Abracadabra. I don't know exactly which one this one was. But it was a fluorescent yellow one that glowed green. It was actually a really groovy colour because when you melted it, it would actually like glow. And I had some of the um, melts and you know, like, you know, melt in a glass jar and they just like glowed like a potion. So, and it smells really good. I'm really hoping they have this again next Halloween, but I doubt they will. But I really, really like that one. And the other one I finished off just recently was Tropical Daiquiri. And again, you can't get that one. I know that one has been discontinued. I was heartbroken. It smells so good. I had a few like um, alcoholic, tropical alcoholic, uh, pro cocktail scents, I guess. They had quite a few of them um, last summer. It was so nice. And they don't have them anymore, which is sad. So it's got a couple of jars there. Okay, now for my few duds <laughs> that I didn't like. Um, this was a Desert Essence Organics Sweet Almond Body Wash and I just I don't really need any body wash. I have a dozen, especially Bath and Body Works one. I thought I'd just try it. I thought maybe I'd you know, scent for autumn and, and winter, but I did not like the smell. I can't smell it now, of course. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, they call it sweet almond, yeah. It's a sickly sweet smell, if you ask me. So I didn't like that. I'll see if the girls like it. If they like it and want they can have it. I rather just throw it in the bin because what's the point of using things that I don't enjoy using? It wasn't super expensive, so that's the story with that one. And because I love the Kiss My Face foot cream so much, I decided I would try the coconut moisturizer. Um, no, didn't like it at all. Don't, oh, it smells, you know, what it smells like Play Doh. How could they make something, especially coconut, smell like Play Doh? Oh, it smells like Play-Doh. So Play-Doh for a moisturizer, no. I don't like that. The girls don't use moisturizer, so I'll put that one straight in the bin. I also had an eye cream from People for Plants. I just, I didn't like it. I was I was using it after I'd finished off that Nature Roll-On one. And I just didn't feel, I just felt, felt far too light for an eye cream, especially at night. So I just stopped using it, I, you know. Something I'll persevere through using, but an eye cream at my age. No, I want a good eye cream. So I used that and I made half of it and I said, no, I'll move on. And the last thing is these um, Kiss Nail Dress Stickers. Stick on nails. Nice and blingy. You may have even seen them on Instagram on New Year's Eve. They're pretty pricey. $12 or $13. I don't know if I paid full price for them or not. But they were coming off the next day. I pulled them all off on New Year's Day. So, didn't get 10 days out of them. I don't, I mean, I followed the directions. So I don't know. So, they were a big disappointment. So, they're going in the bin. So, that, that is it for my current empties and a few duds in there. Hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions about anything, let me know. And... I will be back in a few more months with another empties video. In the meantime, lots of vlogs on my channel. And now that I'm finally, finally, after 12 weeks, starting to feel better, there should be some more videos coming up in this sort of format and some more organizing as I get back to that. So definitely a lot more coming up on this channel. So I will talk to you next time. Goodbye.